Hi everybody and welcome to today's tutorial on clamshell lighting. Now this is a really popular style of lighting. I use it a lot with my headshots. It's basically a butterfly light with a fill light underneath. Now there's two ways in which you can do this. If you only have one light, you can get a similar effect by holding a reflector underneath. Now you could use a silver side if you wanted more bounce back up. You could use a white side of the reflector if you wanted less bounce as well. However, today I'm going to be showing you how this looks with two lights. The reason being is that you can really get ultimate control when you use one light from the top and one light from the bottom. So today I'm using two lights. I'm using a Profoto B10 and a Profoto A2. It really doesn't matter what lights you use, but one thing that I would say is your modifier choice might make a difference here. Now personally, because it's in butterfly position and I'm shooting underneath it, I find that a rectangular softbox works quite well. When I have the circular ones, sometimes I find it harder to sort of bend down and shoot underneath it. Now, one thing for me as well is that when I have a rectangular shape coming from the top with a catch light, I want to match it with an equal rectangular shape in the bottom just so they look even. So I'm going to be using a Profoto 2x3 OCF softbox and a Profoto 1x3 OCF softbox. The key light is obviously double the width than the fill light underneath, but what I'm looking for is in terms of the width, when I place them top and bottom, they're going to be equal. And for me, that creates the nicest light. Now, as you guys know, I don't like to say that there's any hard and fast rules in photography. However, when you're setting up this kind of light, I find it's much better to keep your key light brighter than your fill light. The reason being is that's the key, it's doing its job and this is the fill. However, if you don't get the balance right and your fill light becomes brighter, you get this horrible kind of up light, that kind of Blair Witch Project sort of thing going on and it's not really the look we're going for. So when we're setting up, I always advise you to set up your fill light on its own, turn off your key and just make sure you're not getting too much power from underneath so it's nicely balanced. Now, essentially what clamshell lighting is, is that the subject that's in the middle is in the middle of a clam. So you've got a light from the top and a light from underneath. Now, your key light is going to be set up in a butterfly position. So as we know, if you don't know what that is, check out some of our other videos. But it's basically one light over the top, down the nose, creating that butterfly shape under the nose and pushing all the shadows downwards. Now that gives a great light on its own. And you may have heard people say, yes, but it's much better when you're photographing people that perhaps are you know, carrying a little bit more weight and you wanna push things into shadow. And that is true because it will hide things and carve out the cheekbones a little more. However, let me tell you, once you're photographing women, especially above a certain age, definitely me included, we want a bit of feel light in there. Now, the reason being is that what can start to happen is you can't pick and choose where your shadows fall. So you get the lovely shadows from under the cheekbones, but man, you get them under the eyes as well. And we don't want to see that. So having this feel like bouncing in is much nicer, much more flattering and much softer. So it's a really nice kind of light setup that you can have that will be flattering for most people. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Today, I'm shooting with lovely Georgia and I'll begin by using the cappuccino colour backdrop from Colorama. First, I bring in my key light, the Profoto B10 with OCF 2x3 softbox. I want this in a butterfly position straight over the top of Georgia. First, let's take a test shot to establish a good exposure just for our key light. Now that's looking good, next I bring in our fill light, the Profoto A2 with OCF 1x3 softbox. Here I want to try and match the position of the top and bottom light. Next, I want to turn off my key light and just check the exposure of the fill light only. As you can see, my first shot is way too bright. This is definitely not the look we're going for from a fill light. I then adjust the exposure and make sure it's much more subtle and would only light up the areas where the shadows would fall from the key light in that butterfly position. Now, with both lights balanced, I can take a series of shots with Georgia in any pose she likes and I will always have beautiful light coverage. So 
So there we have it guys, that is how you achieve clamshell lighting. I hope that you liked it. I hope it's something that you can implement in your workflow. As I say, especially useful when photographing lots of people. It's a very flattering light. So if you have any questions, of course, as always, drop them in the comments. But thanks ever so much and we will see you next time.